You don't have any food in your mouth. You get any food up your I know it's a weird question, but I have to ask. No? Okay. Well, I think we should be good now. Are you afraid of furries? Does your heart plummet into your stomach when you see an eight foot tall humanoid bunny with murder in its eyes? Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, first of all, same. <laughs> but also, I've got a little bit of good news to tell you. I decided to face my fears this week and play a little game called Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Now this isn't your average Five Nights at Freddy's video game. This is a mostly VR gaming channel, so you better believe that this game is in VR. And that eight foot tall bunny I mentioned earlier felt extremely f***ing real to me. <laughs> so sit back, relax, grab some lotion and tissues if you're into that kind of shit, and get ready to watch me face my fears head on in this week's video. Spoiler alert, I definitely died a little bit inside. <laughs> Anywho, enjoy. Now, I'm not going to stand here and tell you that after playing this game, my fears have all washed away and I'm a new man because they didn't and I'm still the same old guy. But what I will say is that I forced myself to play this game purely for your enjoyment. From the moment I bought this game on Steam, I had zero expectations of liking it. I thought that it would make a few people smile seeing me get tortured by a gang of animatronic furries and that's about as far as my ape brain thought this through. Now I hope you're still listening because I'm about to blow your minds. Hell, I honestly blew my own mind when I realized this. Five Nights at Freddy's in VR is extremely fun. Please no. Oh, no, 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 if I'm being honest, I'm not having fun at all. Like, what even is that? Why? Why would you do that to me? Get fucked! I guess we're like in the big leagues now, bro. I got through the first five nights. Now it's just gonna be smooth sailing from here on out, boys. This is a good change of scenery. <laughs> Are you serious? Nope. Nope! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I don't, I don't know if I even want to play this game anymore. I know, I know. I just told you guys that this game is actually pretty fun. And then I went ahead and showed you a nice little montage of me getting scared out of my mind over and over again. Doesn't make any sense, does it? You sound insane. But just bear with me. The different game modes that are available in this game are genuinely engaging and entertaining. Plus, I'm just going to assume that if you have been looking into purchasing this game, you don't mind getting repeatedly jump scared all that much anyways. Because behind all of that terror and fear lies one of the most potent adrenaline rushes on God's green earth. Fearing for your own life. Stop it. Get some help. And to top it off, in order to stave off your inevitable demise, you need to be laser focused. What some psychologists might describe as being in the flow state. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. This is grade A terror. Oh, hey! Go f yourself! I'm f I am literally f right now. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Have you heard the good news? No! No! Just don't scare me again. For the love of God, please don't scare me again. Now, I'm no adrenaline junkie, I don't really enjoy getting scared, but that feeling of intense focus that occurs when I feel like my ass is on the line and there are furries surrounding me on all sides is honestly pretty good. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. I have never listened for a set of footsteps so f***ing hard in my entire life. 
by far the best aspect of this game is not the jump scares, but the extremely eerie and uncomfortable tension that you feel while you are trying to prevent them. It is just icing on the cake that this VR game looks mm. So good. I never experienced any glitching or stuttering, the graphics are pretty sharp, the game mechanics are intuitive and fun to use, and the sound design. This is what creates such a terrifying and unsettling atmosphere for this game. What the f That was too much. That was way too much. Why? Why? This is like a getting murdered in real life training simulator. Because I feel pretty awful waiting for those uh, footsteps to come down the hall to close the door. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Ho! I am on like night three, maybe. Night a foot, foot and a half, maybe, roughly. Foot and a half. Foot and a half? If they think you're an empty coffin, they might try to stuff a metal skeleton into you. <laughs> Up the, the ass. ass. Right. Ah, f Damn it! Oh my gosh, <laughs> no, no. Even though I may have shit my pants a few times this week playing Five Nights at Freddy's, I honestly can't say that I regret it. Playing this game truly made me feel like I was in a horror movie. Yo, what's up? The 3D models look amazing. The lighting is done super well. It only cost like 15 bucks on Steam. Hey. That's pretty good. And overall, I had a really fun time playing it. So, if you like scary VR games and preferably don't have a weak heart, I am pretty sure that you would enjoy this game. I'd give Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted a f solid 9 out of 10. Yes, no! Oh, f Jesus! Hit me! Dude, I am so on edge right now. I feel like this is way, yeah, this is way worse than Into the Radius. I am not gonna lie. Yes! Yeah! Beautiful. Oh, God damn, son! Oh, She's still in there. God damn, no! You know, I am pretty smart, so that's probably what the problem was. Dude, I don't even want to hear you, if I'm being honest. Shut your f Game out. Oh my, I'm about to shit myself really hard. <laughs> well, that basically does it for this video, y'all. There are going to be some bloopers at the end, so stick around and watch those if you feel like it. For the love of all that is holy and righteous in this world, stay away from Chuck E. Cheese this weekend. Relax, go outside, do something that you enjoy, and I will see you guys next week where I will be doing something I have never done before in my entire life. Anyways, bye. Dude, I'm fucked. Oh god. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God is good. All the time. Butter. Butter.